Babes, welcome back to my channel. So let's get into these products. I'm gonna use three garbage bags, an applicator brush, one bowl, a brush to brush out your bundles with, a pair of gloves, a pair of scissors, and for color, we're using L'Oreal Techniques Highlight, High Color um, Highlights, one box of red, two boxes of magenta, two boxes of red hot, and two boxes of sizzling copper for a grand total of seven boxes. And I got this color from um, Sally's, which was nearby. Well, it wasn't nearby, but I got it from Sally's. Um, I also got this um, idea from Sophieology. She said that it didn't really work for her, but it definitely worked for my bundles. And I'm not sure if it's because of the red that I added, because um, she didn't add red to hers, but I definitely added it to mine. And then afford the 40 volume developer which got really, really, really hot. Like, I could barely lift my bundles up. They were so hot. And of course, you're gonna need your bundles. What's color without bundles, sis? And a closure. And today's hair is from Yolissa Hair. I bought this with my own money. This is not sponsored. So within each box, there's these little tubes that you can add in to brighten up the color. I'm gonna go ahead and add my developer in. Um, I kinda eyeballed it. I didn't really measure it out. I just know that I wanted the mixture to be kinda thin. So mix, 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 shake it up, shake it up. This is what it's looking like. It looks orange, it's kind of scared me um, a little bit, but trust the process. So let's go ahead and slap that onto our bundles. We're gonna work that in, work in between the bundles. Um, and you wanna make sure that you flip your bundles over to the other side as well and work. I put a black rubber band on my bundles cause I didn't wanna open them up and do all that stuff which I probably should have I probably would have used less product but you know when you get your bundles and you're lazy and you're ready to get through the process you just do whatever and deal with the results in the end but that color is vibrant I'm not sure if it's the red or if it's the, the um, tubes of the little baby tubes that comes into the boxes. I'm not sure what it was, but it's, it kind of scared me. Make sure you work it all in. Get it on both sides. So now I'm just gonna speed this thing on up. You should have the gist of it. I'm only gonna show you guys one bundle because if you've seen one, you've seen it all. And there's no technique as to putting hair color on. Just make sure that you work it throughout your whole bundle. So this is me, that bundle is done. You see me kind of working that color in. You wanna do the same. Hit any spots that you've missed. And now we're gonna move on to our 13 by six frontal. So I spray gots to be, I don't know why, because it hasn't worked for me before. Usually I take and slap hair grease on it as a protector and it usually works for me as to not dyeing my um, closure. And I didn't do it this time. Like I said, I was being lazy and I was excited to get this process done. So in order to dye your bundle, um, not your bundle, but your frontal, I take and I part it and I take my time with it. As you can see, I'm not really getting any color on the lace, but when this stuff heats up, it thins out and it turns like really liquidy. So it runs and that's what got me. So I'm zooming in. Taking my time, part in each section and working that color all the way down to the roots. I'm gonna speed on through this. You can see the process. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of jump to the end of this closure. So 
So what I did was I let that sit while I washed out my bundles and this is the end result. So these are my bundles. They're nice and pretty and burgundy. It worked for me with my bundles and I'm not sure where I went wrong with my frontal. I kind of ran out of hair dye at the end and I only used half of the red for the bundles and I used the other half for the frontal but I'm not sure I'm not sure if I just didn't leave it on long enough or what so I'm gonna have to do a take two on that frontal eventually probably after I make the wig as you can see I'm saying no but some parts are light like right now it's dried and it's like a burgundy and then I'm gonna flip it over and show you guys where I went wrong boom look at that look like a murder scene Ciao. I'm so disappointed but I'm just gonna go in and bleach my knots and try to lift as much as that of uh, that uh, red color off of that frontal as I can. And then what I have to do is I'll just have to add um, some foundation to it later to kind of blend it in whenever I get ready to put my unit on. So you want to make that uh, mixture with your white whitening lightning um, powder. You want to make it kind of thick so that it doesn't seep through and get on your bundles your bundles child so it doesn't seep through and get on to your hair on the other side of your frontal i'm just making up words today child i don't even know what to say so work that all over don't push it in too much but like i said if you make your make your mixture kind of thick then you're going to be good and i'm working that all around And then once I get to the end, I'm going to take and put some aluminum foil on the top of that and let that sit for about 20 minutes. I think I let it sit for long because it took a, a while for my um, knots to process. And then to, you have to stay tuned at to, until the next video so that you can see what it is that it looks like. I'm going to have a plucking video of how I pluck this frontal. Bye, guys.